you about the gay couple arrested for allegedly having sex in public aboard a cruise ship. Police in the island of Dominica kept the Palm Springs couple in jail for 19 hours. The couple shared their harrowing experience with us on Sunday, but now another couple on that same ship is speaking out with their side of the story. KMIR 6's Jessica Flores in studio with more on this story tonight. Jessica. When the story of the arrest broke, it made international headlines. People outraged over the gay couple's arrest. But now this other Palm Springs couple, who were also on the ship, say this isn't a gay rights issue at all. Back in their Palm Springs home after a cruise trip turned into an international controversy. No way that I was going to get off the port. I was not going to get down there and get into, you know, people screaming at me. I didn't know what was going on. People screaming on the island of Dominica after police took another couple, John Hart and Dennis Mayer, off the boat, arresting them for allegedly having sex on their balcony. That's a horrible representation of, you know, the big gay ship coming into town. The couple arrested described inhumane conditions in a country with anti-gay laws still on the books. This is what they told us now back home in Palm Springs. They did try to make an example out of us. They paraded us around the town. The local media there fanned the flames of gay hatred and the locals came out and vehemently protested against us being in their country. But this other couple doesn't blame Dominica. I'm sorry, we were in a third world country uh, that is not tolerant of gay people and when you throw it out in their face like that, there's going to be some problems. They deserve to get the punishment for breaking the law and I don't feel that this is a gay rights issue whatsoever. This couple says the other couple's actions jeopardized the safety of the people on board and it ruined their trip. We could have given uh, Dominica a different perspective of what gays are really about and that these, this, this incident uh, gave them exactly what they already thought about us. And dealing with the protests in Dominica, unchartered territory for both couples. Now, I talked to the couple arrested over the phone, and they tell me they take full responsibility for their actions, but they don't think Atlantis Events, the company that chartered the trip, should take 2,000 gay people to a country with anti-gay laws. As for the other couple, they already booked another trip with the same company.